Do you ever feel like the world around us isn't what it seems? Well, my friend, you are not alone, because hundreds of people on TikTok are trying to expose the truth in order to help people like us escape the Matrix. Because for years we've been lied to by the government, by the Illuminati, and by cats. Don't be deceived, they're not just your pets, they are watching you. Anyway, today we're gonna dive into the wild world of TikTok conspiracy videos. I've collected what I feel to be the best ones, and together we're gonna take a look at them to hopefully learn a thing or two. The first person we are gonna look at is this gentleman that goes by the name of One Foul Wow. He's a pretty popular creator in the conspiracy side of TikTok, so maybe he will provide us with the best information. Oh, you son of a bitch. What have you done? Or, who knows, maybe he'll just verbally berate this bell for the rest of the video. Now, I know a lot of you already know that bells was used for healing and meditation. But did you know that between 1939 and 1945, the Nazis went through the whole of Europe and confiscated over 175,000 bells? So yeah, that is actually true, so he's off to a pretty good start. I hope he stays consistent with that though. So the mainstream narrative says, the reason why they did this is because they needed more artillery and ammunition, so they melted down the bells and used them as weapons. I really hate when they say mainstream narrative. It just kind of like makes it seem like there's some kind of big bell company trying to make you believe this historical lie, when in reality, that's just what happened. Like. It's documented. With history that recent, you can kind of understand why they did stuff like this. And if you know anything about World War II, you'd know that the Germans were always on a quest for resources to fuel their war machine. This is completely in line with what they would do. It's also said that they put the bells into categories A, B, C, and D. A being any bell that was made in the last 90 years, and D, any bell that was made before the year 1740. I know many of you won't agree with me, but I believe the main objective of those wars was to get rid of the old world. No, yeah, it just ends like that abruptly. I don't even know if he finished what he was trying to say, it just ended. Anyway, one of the most apparent things in all these videos is that these people just say things without giving any evidence whatsoever. Like this guy thinks that bells were a big player in World War II, which that's a unique opinion, I've never heard that one before. He gave zero proof of why that would be true. Actually, he gave more evidence to the contrary that saying that bells were melted down and used as weapons, that makes complete more sense that like bells have some kind of mystical property. But hey, what do I know? Maybe I'm paid off by Big Bell or something like that. Now, I want to move on to something a bit more mainstream. The moon landing is probably one of the biggest conspiracy theories in the world, and I think it's important to check out what TikTok thinks about this theory. People can actually watch this footage and believe it's real. Uh, when you speed something up, yeah, it looks automatically 10 times more dumb. If I were you, I would never show this footage in my video where I'm trying to convince people of something. When you alter evidence of something, it takes away your credibility. So tell me everybody, why haven't we been back? I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Now I want you to think about the absolute crazy amount of progression there has been in the last 50 years with technology. It's a painful process to build this again. Is that foil? Because it would cost a shit ton of money to go back. It's estimated that it would cost somewhere around $93 billion today to return to the moon. Put it into perspective, that's almost a cost of like 10 aircraft carriers. Not even mentioning that we did go back, like five times. But let me guess, those all were fake. Let's not forget the phone call transmitted from the moon to the president. All of these arguments are immediately disproven as soon as you look them up. It's almost like this guy was not bothered at all to just look up anything he thought of on Google. But hey, if he did do that, he probably wouldn't have made this video. That's the most telling part to me because you can't even put film through certain scanners at the airport without destroying it. But you could transmit all the way from the moon to the earth through the Van Allen radiation belt. Excuse me, but what? the hell does that have to do with any of this? 
I can't take film through an airport scanner, so there's no way anyone could talk to the moon. Bro, we just really spawn an argument out of nothing. From what I understand, radiation does not affect radio waves, if that's what he's worried about. But you just can't use some random thing as an example. It makes no sense. That's like me saying like, oh, submarines go underwater and can't fly, so therefore planes can't fly either. It's fake. It, it just, it's stupid. Moving on, I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite conspiracy theories. It's one that is sort of popular, but it hasn't reached out into the mainstream yet, the Tartarian theory presents the idea that there is once a continent-spanning empire located in Central Asia and Siberia. It's responsible for building a lot of complex structures like the White House, pyramids, and some like churches like Notre Dame and all that kind of stuff, but it eventually got wiped out around the 1830s by a mud flood. But what if I told you that the Great Wall of China was actually the Great Wall of Tartaria? from the Moorish Empire, you know, the ones that they don't really want you to know about. Who is they? Because you're not being very descriptive. What institution, group of people, government, doesn't want you to know about this continent-wide spanning empire? Because I'm really confused. I know, I know, crazy, right? Well, maybe you can answer me this then. The Chinese built the Great Wall of China, then why are the steep sides facing towards them? Seems odd. Also, why are the lookout posts also facing towards them? You would think it would make it easier to defend yourselves if you were facing the enemy, not yourself. None of the pictures in this clip that he shows really show the direction of the wall. And I'm sure he did that on purpose because if he really showed which way it was facing, it'd probably be wrong and make him look bad. Seems a little weird. You know, like that way they could see the enemy coming and they could properly defend themselves with bow and arrows or whatever they were using, throwing rocks. It just doesn't really make sense to build everything facing you not away from you. Oh, and what about these old maps? Huh, what's that? Tartaria? That's funny. Maybe it's the Great Wall of Tartaria surrounding China to protect themselves from China. Basically, not everything put on a map is a country. And sometimes, there are maps created to show regions. That's what Tartary is. It's basically if someone saw a map with Appalachia on it and thought that used to be a nation state. It's not how it works. It feels like these TikTok conspiracy theorists do everything they can just to not look for evidence for anything they do. They just probably see some other person talking about it and just regurgitate the same talking points over and over and over again. In the end though, they still have millions of followers and get thousands of views each video. A lot of people watch this stuff. And I think it's those people who think that they're free thinkers and all that kind of stuff and they think that they're smarter than thousands of years of history. In the end, I just want to point out how dumb this content is. And I also want to clarify that I am no way downplaying conspiracies, but the evidence has to be there. You can't just listen to some dumbass talk about nothing for an hour and expect to gain something from it. But anyway, with that being said, you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.